Hi, this is Terry Lee of Sweet Pea Papers, and this is video three in our series called uh, Dragonfly Flight. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to um, start doing some of the paper covering and um, work on a couple more parts that we didn't get done. Um, I really love these papers. So you may notice that the book is now inked when it wasn't before. Uh, this envelope had some ink on it and um, you could see it. And so the um, envelope looked funny or the book looked funny without it, uh, with it only being inked here and without the rest of it being inked. And um, so I ended up having to uh, ink it. So I've now inked all of the papers in the green or all the pages in the book and the book itself in green. And then um, I've continued on with my idea of doing the papers in the purple and it's um, looking pretty good. Um, actually it's lavender. Well, that's purple, but um, it's a light shade. I almost wish it had been one shade darker, but the the next shade up that I have is too dark. So um, I'm just going to go with the flow. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, we, we need to um, remove the pocket that I had you put on on page four. So if you're following along and you've already put this envelope on here, um, it's a check envelope. Um, like this one here, like that one, um, you need to take it off. And the easiest way, uh, instead of taking a chance on tearing your envelope or doing whatever, because this is where the CD goes and the coin envelopes, and so we can't really do a pocket. We're going to paper over it. So um, I just took a pair of scissors and just cut the flap. And so now what I have is hold on just one second what i have is this envelope without a top on it and we're going to use it um, somewhere in here as a pocket so all is not lost and it did not go to waste so what i've decided to do is um, use the dragonflies for the pockets and the uh, envelopes and use the more neutral colors like this for the larger pages. So, um, let me look. Yeah, the ephemera has a lot of pictures on it too. And so that way it doesn't make your eyes hurt when you look at it. And another thing that we forgot to do, because it's partially your fault, is to, um, put the envelope on here. Now, I think what happened is we mistakenly put it on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this envelope onto page two, which means the envelope is going to actually be on page three. All right, so let's get it centered. And then flip it over this way. Open the flap. Take off the paper if it's a self seal. Put glue on the flap. I can already see that it moved. I inked this even though it's not going to really help. Put some glue on there. And flip it over. Make sure that you can open and close it. Which we need more glue. Because of where it is, we need to glue it all the way up. So we're going to need to put some glue all the way up to the, um, to the crease.
so that means I'm going to smear. That's my tablet telling me that some something happened on Facebook. Okay. Hopefully something interesting. Was it one of you guys leaving a comment? I hope so. Okay. That's better. I can tell it's glued on better because you can feel the glue. It's cold. It, uh, if you can hear a humming in the background, I apologize. But I'm freezing to death in here. And um, so I have my space heater on and it has a little fan on it. So, all right. So now we've got that on there. So now we're going to go back. And I thought since the fatter this gets now, I had to uh, deconstruct part of an envelope. So that's why it's sticking up more than normal. But I thought we would go ahead and put a closure on this. So let's take, I'm going to use this pale green to go with this. I had a, pink, a light pink, but I'm not really a pink person. And... Um, so I decided to use the light green instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue some on, just kind of eyeball the center. Yes, I realize I haven't cut anything. just kind of go up to the edge because the paper is going to not quite cover to the edge. And I'm putting the part that has the ribbon in the center in the center where the glue is. And I'm going to give that just a second to grab. Then I'm going to take what I think I'm going to need. Now I'm always making these too short. So I'm making it extra long. And I'm going to flip it over. Figure out how, how much I want. And this way it will be doubling it. Then we can line it up. And we can put the glue and it makes it easier to line it up. Make sure, oh, it won't matter. It's always better to be nice and orderly, though. Okay. We've glued that down. I'll glue one a little close to the edge. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess it dries clear. Then we're going to pull this out and then we're going to cut it and that way we know that the sides lengths are equal. Okay. And then just kind of angle it just a little bit if you like. It's kind of cut it almost angled anyway. So now you've got your tie on there. And it's the easiest way I know to get the equal length on both sides. 
Okay, so now we've got that on there. So now we can glue the papers onto the front and the back. Oh, the dogs upstairs have decided to start howling. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but it's so annoying. It's very distracting as well. All right, I'm going to put you on hold until they're done. Okay, I think they're done. I hope they're done anyway. Um, that was very annoying. So now you see the ribbon will come out from under the paper and be very pretty. It almost looks too short again. Okay, so we're going to glue the paper. And I wrote the measurements on here, and then I had to make it a smidge smaller, I believe. And I've got 5 and 5 eighths by 8 and 5 eighths. Now this kind of wraps around just a little bit, so you're going to have to kind of hold on to the paper a little bit when you are... Um, holding it down, you know, to make sure that it sticks good. Okay, we're back. That was my alarm going off because it was time to take my medicine. I wasn't paying attention um, as to uh, what time it was. Okay, so we're going to put this on here like that. Very pretty. It's a little, you know, the book is a little squishy, so we need to make sure everything is sticking down. Okay, um, we're back, and the amount of time that we were gone... Um, and I'm not sure you realized we were gone, but we were gone. Um, we've got the front glued on and the ribbon, and I went ahead and glued the back on. And um, I chose the two pieces that had the uh, matching writing on it. Um, at this point, I realized that I wished I had put the dragonfly at the top so we could put some kind of something on the bottom, but we can still put something here. And um, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. So the next part of our fun is this B1 envelope. Now, you're probably thinking, Terry, why didn't you just cover these and get it over with and then come back and show us? But um, the reason I didn't do that is because of this. Once I flipped this open, I realized because of the way we had glued it, I couldn't just slide a piece of paper in. Let me show you, for example, this is the one for the small envelope, but I'll show you as an example. I couldn't just slide a paper in and then leave this pocket open as a long pocket this way because of the way it was glued. There was no way to stick the paper in all the way down to the bottom and cover up this black and white hash mark. So... What I ended up doing is deconstructing the envelope while it was glued onto the book. And then what we're going to do, actually let me open that back up. What we're going to do is we're going to make the thumb pull, make a thumb pull at the top and make it a long writing card and cover both sides with this glued shut. And you won't see this because of the paper over the top. So what we need to do is cover the area where the thumb pull is going to be. 
instead of the area where you know the cutout was going to be so it doesn't matter whether it goes all the way to the edge or not um, because we're going to be um, uh, just cut you know it just needs to cover where the thumb hole is now the other thing was that um, because to get it unglued there was an issue plus we were going to have to cut it across the top anyway so I cut this to eight and a quarter which makes it shorter than the one on the back I don't have a problem with that the one on the back somehow um, I can still slide a piece in there um, it doesn't look like it needed to be trimmed or else I forgot to trim it so um, yeah, it almost looks like I forgot to trim it. But um, we're just going to leave it. We're not going to mess with it. Otherwise, we're going to have a big mess like I did with this one. So we're going to glue the two pieces in. There we go. And I want to make sure this is not directional. We get dragonflies going both ways. So it doesn't matter which way I glue it in. And this is still a little bit crooked. So I'm going to glue this straight. And then I'm going to trim it a little bit more. Um, and remake the opening. Okay. And then we're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. And this should go out to here. Looks like it's a smidge long. So we can cut that off. Doesn't matter. Remember, as long as it covers the center. And a little piece for my scrap pile. For the collage. Yeah, that'll work. So we can move it over so it doesn't impede on the fold. And then we can glue it in. And I would rather have it I would rather err on the side of it being too far on the outside than it being too far on the inside. You want to be able to fold it back up. So now we're going to fold it up and we're just going to re-glue it on the bottom. And you should glue it on this side. So I'm going to get out my baby wipe. I made a new one and it smells good still. I just dried it out. Obviously it's clean. Doesn't matter if you accidentally get some glue on here because we're going to cover it completely. And we're gluing across it. And this is going to be the bottom of our pocket. This is going to be the top, but we're going to need to make one little dot of glue right here. And so our pocket will be this wide because we have to glue it shut. We can't just rely on the paper because then when we put the card in and out, then it's going to um, catch on there. Okay, now I guess I could wait till the glue dries. So let's go ahead now and we'll put the paper on the front. I made the front and the back out of the same piece of paper. Um, actually, I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, and I inked 
looked like I inked. I thought I inked. It just doesn't. The thing about this um, milled lavender is that it's very pretty. Let me show you. But it just isn't very dark at all. So I thought I inked this. You can't really tell until it's laying down against the white. And that's when I noticed it. So if anybody knows of a color that's one shade darker than milled lavender. But is not seedless preserves. Because that's too dark. Then... Um, let me know. Leave it in the comments below so that um, I can use it in the future. Okay. So now this is the front of the book. So we want the picture to be right side up. And this isn't really directional, but um, it, uh, I don't know, it just looks like that should be, well, I think it sh this should be right side up because when you look at the music on the paper, then um, it looks like the words go this way. Oh, I had already marked it top. Looks like I marked it as the back. So let's just open it. And we definitely want to make sure that we've got our ribbon out of the way. Okay, we'll put this on the back. And then we'll, oh, well, I went ahead and glued it on the front anyway. Okay. Doesn't matter. And then on this one, when we go to glue it, we don't necessarily want to glue uh, all the way over with the paper. We want to make sure that it's not going to catch. So we want to glue this here. So let's glue along the bottom. We're going to glue on the envelope itself instead of the um, instead of the paper. And I think I'm going to go back and make little slidey spots on the corner. Those are sort of like spidey spots, but they don't have any special powers. <laughs> okay, so we're going to glue this on. You want to move it over a little bit to try to cover as much of the black and white hash mark as you can, but not make it to where you can't um, close it. And you do want to make it straight. Okay. So now the top is open. Everything else is closed. So now what I want to decide is what side do I want the thumb pull on? And I think I want it on, I think I want it on the inside. So I'm pretty sure and do the one inch. We're going to slide it in the middle. Slide it halfway in. And slide it. Make sure that it's centered in the center of the paper. And now we have our thumb pull and we have the dragonflies behind it. 
okay now if you want to put a thumb pull on either side you can but I would still put the paper in because when you open it you know to slide the card in and out now we're going to need to make a card that fits inside there but I'm not going to do that on camera because you guys can make a rectangle ink the edges and slide it down in there I have faith in you so now this one we're going to do a little bit different This one, we are going to slide a piece down in here to cover it. Okay. Let's get it lined up. Okay. And then lift it up with your thumb holding it so it doesn't move and then just glue it along the inside now we've got the inside and it's got the dragonflies but it's not quite as intensive you know graphic intensive as the other one so we're going to glue that So you may or may not run into the trouble with the uh, B1 envelope. Uh, it depends on how you cut it and how big of an envelope you start out with in the first place. Okay, so now this is a non-directional pattern. So we can just glue it on without looking for a top and a bottom. We just want to make sure that it's straight. When I look at this, it looks like it's a little crooked. Yeah, that looks better. So we're going to glue that in. And then now we just need to glue the front. which is easy enough. I probably didn't have to show you this, but we're almost done. So I might as well show it to you that we can get an extra 30 seconds on our video. That will give us 30 minutes. Okay, so now I want to look at this and this one is directional. So I want to make sure, and you'll notice this paper is the same as that paper. I cut them all out of the same piece. And it makes it match, makes it pretty. So you're just going to glue that on there. And I, I, like I said, I wish the lavender was a little bit darker so you could see it a little bit more. You can see it, but um, I wish it had been just a smidge more. Or maybe not, you know, I don't know. Um, oh, we do need to um, cut the edge of this so that we can put a paper in there or a card in there. And then we'll have to re-ink just a little bit on that side. Now you're just going to want to do a very, very, very thin little piece because we didn't deconstruct the envelope and put a piece of paper in here. So we're not going to put a thumb pull. What we'll do is we'll put a tab on the card. That way people will know the card is there, but we won't have to... Um, We won't have to um, color the inside, really. Okay. Wish I had. Wish I had remembered. Um, probably could still slide a piece in and glue it. 
I may do that off camera and I'll show it to you when we come back in the next video uh, if it works and if I get it done and uh, then you'll be uh, awed and amazed and wonderful and we'll have the front and the back and this and this uh, envelope done we could have done this too because it's one solid piece but it's one solid piece and this is one solid piece they're five and five eighths by eight and five eighths so I'll probably just uh, glue these on off camera all right so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video and that'll be just a second for you and a day for me bye bye